What's going on guys, The Cobb is back with another Destiny 2 video for you guys today, and as you guys can see, I got my my gunsmith bounties, all uh, six of them, my bad, couldn't do math for a second, all six of these bounties right here, three of them are being tracked because the other one I don't need to track because my sword is solar, so it says solar weapon percentage along with sword, so those two are together, and then I got my shotgun and auto rifle right there. This one, and this one are going to be completely separate off of uh, what I'm doing for these. The reason why I'm showing you guys this video is because this strategy can work for a mass majority of bounties, quests, and whatever you need to get done to get some loot and some good stuff from whatever you're trying to complete. Now, what you guys want to do, let's get right to it, let's go to destinations. What you're going to want to do is go to the moon, right? Load up the moon, and then head right over to Sorrow's Harbor and launch that up. Alright, now that you're in Sor Sorrow's Harbor, what you're going to want to do is summon your vehicle and follow the path that I'm taking. Keep in mind, you cannot. this is a double whammy strategy. If you got a lot of people doing their little thing over here and killing ads, you can either head over here and participate in it and get some loot out of the chest that spawn up and get some laurels and all that stuff. Or you can continue to take the path that I'm taking right now. Ooh, there's some orbs of light right here that I could use. Alright, let's take that jump back on our sparrow and head back this way keep in mind if there is a lot of people right there doing something you can stop over there and participate in it and you can do it that way and complete what all your bounties and quest lines that way by participating in that and getting kills off that event the altars of sorrow or you can continue this way that I'm going and once when you get past this loading screen which they need I can't wait for ps5 to come out apparently there's not going to be any loading screens like that in the PS5. It's going to be instant loads. So, after you get through that loading screen, you want to head over here, double kill, and head down this path through this cave canyon right here, straight to the direction of the Garden of Salvation. And I kind of messed up right there. And head straight down here to the Gate Lord uh, construct, or the Gate Lord's Gate. Once when you get down here, you can see that I'm starting out on 0% for everything. So let's start out with the sword, shall we? Let's go one, oh, whoop, right there. Smack him, smack him, smack him, smack him. Head over here, smack you, oh, oh, still got him. There we go. Smack you, smack you. Smack you, smack you. Oh, got that double kill. That was nice. All right. That one wave, I'm already almost done with it right there. I'm already almost done already. Now, what we're going to do is going to move on to the next one. Go here. Go here. Slice up all these guys right here. There we go. Solar calibration done. That means I am done with my sword and my solar bounty, which means I'm on to shotgun and, and auto rifles. Shotguns are as follows. As you guys saw, sword and solar just got done. So we're going to move on to shotgun already right here. Get all these shotgun kills. Got to go for the reload. Get that two, three, four, five. Sh five shots right in there. Get you, got you, got you. Got that double kill. And then pop you. And then I think this is going to be the wave 2.0 and then the gate lord. Or maybe just the gate lord. Yep, two, wave 2.0. And then keep just getting all these wonderful, wonderful kills. Shotgun is all done as you can see. Now all you got to do is move on to your next gun. Keep in mind, if you get a certain amount of kills, it will despawn ads after a while. Because it's going to register that you're doing too well and it's going to move on to the Gate Lord. Alright, there we go. There's an ad behind me. Is there? Nope, no there isn't. All the ads despawn. So now you're going to have the Gate Lord. Now here's an easy way of taking them out and having a have a percentage done with a kill on the Gate Lord. Just throw a melee thing at him, a grenade. It's going to weaken him. He's not all that strong. So just keep getting uh, DPS on him. Or you have a bunch of harpies as you see right here. And you can kill all the harpies. And get percentage for your auto rifle. And then that's done. That's done. And I got to find out where my other harpies went. There you are. There we go. And where's the other one? This 
supposed to be more somewhere. I thought there was supposed to be more. Yep, there's one right there. And auto rifle all done. All four, or no, yeah, all four bounties all done right there. All of them already done. And on top of that, if you don't have your Divinity Quest done already, just go ahead and pop him and you'll get access to your Divinity Quest line. He'll drop an exotic and you can go ahead and pick it up. I already have it though, so I don't need to pick anything up. And then if you guys are not done with anything that you need to get done with right now, all you have to do is pretty simple of a move. Pop up your uh, ghost, go to dust, go to your map, and then when your map loads up, go back to Sorrow's Harbor, fast travel back, and then you can come all the way back here or stop by at the Altars of Sorrow if an event is going on. You have four or five people there. You can stop at the Altars of Sorrow, participate in that event, and get super kills or whatnot or whatever else you might need, and you then you can move on. If nobody's there like there is right now, nobody's here, continue on backwards to the area that I went right over there, and you can continue on, rinse and repeat. You saw how fast this got done, really, really quick, really, really fast, which means, huh, I did not see those, or I wasn't paying attention, but uh, as I was saying, I'm going to go back to my thing, oh, it just took a while for everything to load up, okay, I'm going to go to my quests, go to my bounties, and as you can see, all four on my top row are already done. So I get two mod opponents and enhancement core. And I get another two mod opponents and enhancement core. Another two mod opponents and enhancement core. And another two mod opponents and enhancement core. And there you go. You got literally practically all your stuff done already. Keep in mind, this can work for a decent amount of quest lines. It can work for a decent amount of bounties. It can work for a decent amount of challenges. It this can work for a good amount of stuff unless the bounty or quest or whatever it is says that you need to be in a strike a raid or some crucible or gamba unless it says something specifically like that you can easily go to this spot and get kills so unless it says you have to be in a certain location or a certain playlist you can come here and go do your fill out but i'm going to go over here i'm going to help these guys out real quick and i'll see you guys in my next video so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe leave this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.